In today's video, I will show you step by step of how to use the Movie Database API. This is what the final result will look like. Once you have everything set up, you will be able to hit the Movie Database API. And once you hit send, you will see all of the relevant information related to the API call that you just made. In this specific example, we're getting the trending movies and TV shows for this specific day. So to get started, you just need to make an account at themoviedb.org. Once you successfully create your account and you're on a homepage, it should look exactly like this. Hover over your profile icon and hit settings. Once you see this page, just click on API here at the bottom, then click on the Create tab and hit Developer, then scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Accept. Once you're in this page, just fill out the entire form, and once you're done, you can just hit Submit. Once you successfully submit your form, it should now look like this once you've done everything correctly. And the most important thing that we need from this page is the API key, so just make sure to copy it. Now I will show you the documentation for the API call that I made at the beginning of this video. So if I just go to the API documentation for the movie DB, you can see that it has documentation for various calls that they offer. And the one I'm looking at currently is the trending one, which is the example that I showed you at the beginning of this video. If we look at the API endpoint up here, we can see that we just need to copy it exactly and switch out the variable of media type and time window with some of the examples that they have here. If we scroll down, we can actually see that allows us to try out the API call within the page itself as well. So if we just copy the URL at the bottom here, and just say copy. Now we can switch over to Postman, which is a free program that allows us to easily make API calls. And we can post in the URL that we just copied here. And as you can see here, the only query parameter that we need to update is the API key. So now we can just paste in the API key that we copied earlier and just paste it here. Once you complete all the steps, you are now able to make the API call. This is what it should look like once you hit send. You can now see all of the trending movies and TV shows for this specific day. If we go back to documentation, we can read more about the variables that we can change for this API call. For example, instead of just looking up for the current day, we can actually look up the trending movies and TV shows for the entire week by just putting in week instead of day inside of the API call. So if I switch back to Postman, you can see in the URL it has day, but we can just switch this to week and hit enter. And now we see all the data that comes back for the weekly trending movies and TV shows. The next API example I want to show is about getting information for a specific movie. If we go back to the documentation, and we go back to the left-hand side of the API documentation list, we can scroll down until we see movies, and the very first API call is called Get Details. If we read more about the specific API call, we can see that it gets the primary information about a movie. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that in the responses section, it tells us exactly the values that we should expect to get back for this specific API call. So to make this exact API call, we can just scroll up and hit the tab that says Try It Out, and just do the same thing as before, where we copy this exact URL and switch over the Postman and just paste it in. And just like before, we just need to replace our API key with the API key that we copied from earlier. And you will need to replace the movie ID variable with any valid movie ID. I just went ahead and did that for this example. Once you hit send, you should now see a valid response back from the movie DB API. And as you see here, the movie that I did for this example was called The Gray Man Collection. It also gives us a lot of other very useful information, such as like the budget for the movie, the original language, the original title, an overview of the movie, and a lot of other information that you would expect from like a movie database API. The next API example I will show you is getting recommendations based on a specific movie. If we look back at the documentation, we're going to read more about it. But as I said before, this will get us a list of recommended movies for a specific movie. So we can just do the same thing as before and click on the Try It Out tab and just copy the URL at the bottom. Switch over the Postman and just paste it inside of here. Once you paste it, just update the movie ID and your API key and leave everything else the same and hit Send. In the results, you will now see a list of movies that are recommended based on the movie ID that you inputted. So based on the movie ID that I'm putting here, which represents the Grayman Collection, it has now recommended movies such as Jurassic World Dominion and Prey and all these other movies that you see in the list here. And the very last API example I want to show you is getting a list of providers where you can watch the movie that you're searching for. If we go back to documentation here, we can read more about it. But just like I said, it'll basically list all of the providers where you can watch a movie such as like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and so on. So just like before, we'll click on the Try It Out tab and copy the URL, switch over the Postman, and just paste inside of the box, and just make sure to update the movie ID as well as your API key. Once you have updated both those variables, just hit Send. And now you can see from this list all of the places where you can watch a specific movie that you're searching for. 
And those are all the movie database API examples that I will be showing for this video. Hopefully you found this video helpful and educational. If you did, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.